so in the next question the instantaneous field of view is measured of which of the following resolution aspect of remote sensing image so these are the four types of you know resolutions okay so you should know the rough idea of uh, each uh, each resolution how they are separate from one another that is very important okay so first one is spatial resolution okay it main work is it measure smallest object smallest object that can resolve by the resolve by the sensor okay in term of pixel pixel or grid cell image okay grid cell image next one is spectral resolution okay it is related with the wavelength wavelength of electromagnetic spectrum electromagnetic spectrum okay it's related with the wavelength okay and uh, then next one is radiometric resolution okay it is related with the you know number of possible brightness values in each band of data okay and it is related with the bits okay how much bit data is used okay 8 bit 16 bit 4 bit okay bit have uh, you know uh, white to black color range and uh, you know, the next one is temporal resolution okay so uh, this temporal resolution is you know described in that form the means uh, the sensor can obtain image of particular area of interest okay. this, this is my area of interest and uh, how particular area of interest can be sensed by the sensor okay uh, spatial resolution is related with the pixel spectral resolution is with the number of bits of band it is also related with the band number of bands okay number of band width okay and uh, radio metric is related with the bits per band and this temporal resolution is related with time interval generally okay time interval within the bands 
okay as the meaning temporal time okay number of raster per time interval okay so now our question is the instantaneous field of view now it comes in which okay actually it is a type of means it is a related with spatial resolution okay and uh, it is the how much area is viewed okay this is we call as if okay there are some other terms okay also fob ifob and uh, gi f o v and g s d you know fob is defined as fob is defined as field of view okay and it is related with sphere width okay then ifob instant is field of view angle of individual sensor okay okay angle of individual sensor then this g i f o b is ground instantaneous field of view okay and uh, it is related with the projection of this f o b p r o j e c t e d projected f i f o b okay and this g s d is ground sample distance okay ground sample distance okay and resulting pixel okay means it tell us about the pixel value pixel size not value pixel size okay so in this way we can approach this question okay uh, i have explained so many things if some things comes in the exam further you can are able to you know in such a question so in this question uh, which one of the following is an elliptical streamline ice molded landform with an elongated down glacier tail okay first i will make a diagram suppose So this is a ice sheet that is moving like this, okay. And uh, the melting water move uh, below this in form of channel beneath the glacier or within the uh, ice sheets, okay. Below the glacier is we'll get a channel within that channel sediment will deposit okay over the other side uh, so I, uh, you know ice cover is there okay this kind of deposit we will get we call it as a 
is good. Okay. Sub glacier type. Okay. And uh, this is one pattern that from below the ice sheet. There is one more pattern that develop. While moving I sheet over this grower surface. Okay. So this elliptical streamline ice mounted landform with elongated down glacier tail this is tail okay and it is formed by the depletion of the glacier and some books it has written that it is formed by depletion as well as by erosion if a question came with respect to this in net you will go with the depletion one instead of erosion environment okay deposition environment So these two options I have explained with respect to and till till is also a deposit by the glacier okay that is unsorted and uh, that is unsorted okay, we call it as a till okay that is deposit by the glacier there are many more terms with respect to tails okay like more range okay i'm not going into that detail okay one option is remaining that is questa it is actually not uh, found due to glacier okay actually it is rich or a hill with gentle slope on with gentle slope on one side and steep slope on the side. Okay, we call it as a cuesta. So our answer is a drum line in this question. Okay, it will also tell us about the moving direction of the uh, glacier as well. Okay. So in this way we approach this question. Okay. So next question is related with four line basin is associated with. Okay. Now it is related with the you know uh, the plate that is subducting. Okay. It's like this. And due to that the mountain will develop and on this part we are getting this four line basin. And these are typically uh, uh, right now the Shivalik Basin. We call it as uh, you know four land basin, okay? And it is it is a part of Himalaya. Himalaya, okay? So the right answer is Himalaya. The rift basins are related with the uh, you know the two plates moving away from each other and creating a new and Hawaii is related with the uh, hot spot hot spot okay and it, it is not related with the plate okay because uh, Suppose this is our oceanic plate. Okay. This is our oceanic plate. And from the deep, from the core metal boundary, the magma is coming and will form a chain over this. Chain like this. Okay. 
and the plate is moving okay but it is not related with this okay so in this way we can you know, understand the things okay and this is mid ocean increase suppose this here new plate is created here the magma is coming up and okay but this hot spot related magma is not related with this i will explain this plate system in some other videos okay if you need it so the next question is so in the next question the moon has sorry okay, okay. The moon has strong influence on tide than the sun because okay if we look at this fourth option the moon has higher surface density than the sun so it is not related with this okay it is related with the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun okay so the gradient of gravitational pull by moon at earth is larger than that by sun okay. uh, right this is the right option okay what i will read the other option by those options are wrong okay next option is the gravitational pull exerted by moon on earth is larger than by the sun okay and the uh, if because uh, the gradient is the main component okay how much gradient of magnetic pull of moon and the earth apply uh, means affect the earth okay and the third option is the uh, the gradient of gravitation pull by sun at earth is larger no earth is larger than the moon okay because uh, due to distance okay not uh, due to the distance between the sun and the moon from the earth is in relation with that we are going with this okay. density is also playing a role but not that much okay so our right option is the gradient of the gravitational pull by moon at the earth surface earth is larger than that by the sun so the next question is which one of the following mineral contain contains potassium okay so the first option is kyanite whose you know chemical formula is al2 si2o5 oh Okay, and uh, it is a little bit. You know, this kyanite is a clay mineral. Okay, and one question related with clay means clay minerals uh, mostly comes in this kind of exam. Okay, so try to read that topic properly. Okay, other minerals also. Okay. so next mineral is chamosite and whose formula is you know this is enriched in fmg i don't know the exact formula but it, it is rich in mg and f okay and it is uh, related with the chloride group Okay. Next is next one is light and uh, and this light is you know a uh, mica mineral okay and we call it as a you know. hydromica also 
uh, it is related with the uh, unimuscovite and it is uh, also a clay mineral okay okay closely related with the clay minerals okay and whose formula is if you know that the composition of muscovite related minerals you can answer this okay it is enriched in potassium hydrous i used the it means it also contain water okay and call it as a it has a hydro muscovite and muscovite contain potash okay and our fourth option is uh, it is generally a kylonite serpentine group mineral okay and it also contain iron and generally contain iron okay it is enriched in iron okay so where the uh, which can the option is question is which one of the following minerals contain potash so answer is light next question is ratio of cl and na is constant everywhere in the open ocean because okay actually you know the resistance time if you know the you know Actually, the resistance time of both is more than the mixing time of the ocean. This is the right option, okay? And uh, you should, uh, you know, remember some of the resistance time of the element of the ocean because question later with this comes so many times, okay? So, uh, I have explained, you know, most of the question that comes in part two, okay? Only if two three questions I'm unable to solve. Uh, if I will get those answer, I will update in the comment box. Okay. So if anyone else, please update. Okay. So hope this video you know helpful for you and uh, uh, try to share this video with your friends so that they can also get the benefit. Okay. This is the main motto. Okay, from my side. Okay. Thank you.